It's Lil Bro YP, and I'm with DMV Lituation. All right, so what side of, of town do you think produces most successful rappers? Man, it's fucked up, but that question is easy as shit. I'm uptown, running town, but you, everybody know damn well Southeast got the most rappers. Southeast, who the fuck is it? Is you it? feel like the Southside got, got the most? Ant, Shy, you got the Shy, you got Savage, you got Time I'm going to just say 37. You got 37. Right. <laughs> God damn, them right. boys, God yeah. damn. Do you, do you? Motherfucking, you, Southeast, it's Southeast. Southeast. They got the most rap, they got the most up there rappers. You got Faye, you got Riff, you got, God damn, mo. Southeast big as shit. They got all the rappers. Like, we just starting to cut in. Me, Slime, Goon, Top Soldier. We, we putting Northwest on the map. Yeah, me. Yeah. We putting Northwest on the map. So, how about producers? What side of the, what side of the, what part of the DMV you think got the best producers? Merlin. 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 Shout out Hustle. And DC, too. Profile, my man. I just found out Double R from DC, too. Double R be cranking. But Merlin got all the producers. Juvie. Cole, you got motherfucking hustle. Merlin got all the producers, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You won't find yourself in a Riz and MJ. You gonna find yourself, but they from Milwaukee, but they, you know. Yeah, network. But they be in Merlin. All the fucking producers in Merlin. You gonna find yourself in a Merlin studio. For sure, for sure. Like where if motherfuckers actually making a beat in front of you. So, so another question is do you feel like DC is losing its identity? Far, it could be far as slang or how niggas dressing now, you know. Around. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm. I feel like my generation, I like the last ones that was really on go go. Like diabetes and shit was like the last runs, and that was my age group type shit. So I know the young. Like it ain't really more so losing its identity. We ain't even embracing the identity. So the youngers is gonna go for what they see. We grew up seeing our old heads, oh we wanna go go early but you go so it made you wanna catch any all ages. It made you wanna you know what I'm saying? Now it's no more go go's for real for real unless you catching Mo Cello with you at a twenty one and over. The kids can't have no go go's or how you even supposed to make them like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How the fuck they gonna like it if they can't even go attend the shit? It don't even make sense. That's true. So they're going to lean towards rap because they can go to the Fillmore, go to the Fillmore concerts, go to, yeah, they can see these rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they lean more towards the rap. And then the internet, you can see any part of the country. Like, yeah, we had Facebook and shit back then, but you weren't following no motherfuckers from all of now. It's like anything can go viral. You just seeing all the styles and shit from everywhere, everywhere else, even the world, not even just the United States. You hear me? Motherfuckers see all the different styles and it's influencing them now. You can't, like, Go-Go is not influencing these kids anymore. They can't even go do the shit. So what the fuck make them go, go download the next TLB CD? They can't even go see them folks. Like, shit don't even make sense. So, so it's like, yeah, we lost yeah we lost it, but it ain't, it ain't, like, yeah, we lost the identity for real, for real, but it ain't our fault. Like, that shit, the police and shit ain't trying to let ain't even trying to let the youngest have go go and shit so it ain't it ain't really a high fault so for people who don't know because for the out of town fans who might want who might be curious what what is Mochella? shit Mochella, it's like it's a march it's a uh, I said a march <laughs> it's a uh, protest because they made uh, they made them cut the music off and what was it at like the Metro PCS on Florida Avenue or something? They was playing go go. Like all the Metro PCS was playing music outside of their store or whatever. But this specific one was playing go go and the gentrifiers were kept kept complaining about it and all that type shit. So they started doing the protest and shit and they had the go go bands do the whole do the whole little protest and just march from what is that, Black 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 Lives Matter Plaza and Fourteenth and You and all that. That should be lit. So that's one way, like the kids and the shit can get to. But it's too late. What the fuck? How the fuck they got? You know, not to go up there to go see no motherfucker at Mochella. We going because it's taking us back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. They ain't been inside a motherfucking function even though. We... I'm trying to tell you though. Uh, so what does? How how do you feel about the whole um don't you DC movement? I fuck with it. Don't you DC? It's a, it's it's good. Somebody trying to keep trying to keep this shit alive. Cause I love go go. Like 
Jamie and you, like, I love Go Go. Hey, like, me and my men used to be pressed anytime they had a look. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you, I heard IB is a DC star, love Clubhouse. Like, we caught all them alias jumps and a little bit of Plaza 23. You get know what I'm saying? These kids can't name one, like, you like, where they know it's going to be a good. They don't give a fuck about Go Go. And that was our strongest identity. So, how the fuck you let the strongest identity, like, deteriorate? Don't know why I fuck with it anymore. It's like, you goofy. You, nigga might look at you goofy. You ride down the street listen to some ABL. Give me. God damn, that shit fucked up. So, it's like, it ain't our fault the kids don't like the shit. They can't even enjoy it. Nah, that's real shit, though. They can't even enjoy it. So, I ain't expecting them to go to a Don't UPC. I ain't expecting them to go to a Mochella. 